Abdullah bin Masood, radiallahu an, may Allah be pleased with him, was a very short and thin man, with dark skin and poor family background. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam once commanded him to climb a tree. When other companions looked at his legs, they laughed at his lean stature. Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Why are you laughing? Abdullah's foot is heavier in the balance than the mountain of Uhud. When companions were concerned that people of Quraysh have not heard the Qur'an being recited to them loudly, Abdullah bin Mas'ud declared that he will do that job. Companions warned him that Quraysh will beat him up because he was so thin and short, with a poor heritage, and no one to protect him. Abdullah bin Mas'ud said, Allah will protect me. He then recited a portion from Surah Rahman loudly in front of Quraysh, so just like Sahaba warned, Quraysh beat him up. Abdullah responded, The sweetness of faith that I experienced, I would not mind returning tomorrow and doing it again. And hence he became the first person to recite the Quran publicly in Makkah after Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, who liked to listen to him recite the Quran. Abdullah said, The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said to me, Recite for me. I said, O Messenger of Allah, shall I recite for you while it is to you whom it was revealed? He sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, I love to hear it from other than me. So I recited Surat An Nisa until I reached, and we bring you, Muhammad, as a witness against these people. 441. And I saw the eyes of Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam overflowing with tears. Lessons learned from his story. I learned that if you have a dream which you set your mind to, there's nothing stopping you. I loved that, instead of getting embarrassed about his apparent failure and agreeing that Quran recitation in front of the leaders of Quraysh wasn't for him, he said that he'll do it again because it was the process that he truly enjoyed. He didn't care about the results because they were in Allah's hands. He simply put his best with tawakkal Allah, and instead of getting angry that Allah didn't protect him, he saw the glass half full and got up again after falling down. What did you learn from this short story?